Mars Sluggers has had a lot of amazing discoveries in its lifetime, especially in the past couple years, I'd say. However, something recently uncovered is by far the biggest discovery in Mars Sluggers history, and I'm super excited to share it with you. We can extract models of stadiums and players from the game, as we've been doing recently, but we haven't really been able to do much data extraction until modder extraordinaire, you might know him from Superstar Baseball modding, Little Coax, recently uncovered all of the stats in Mars Loggers in one giant stats table. It's truly incredible. So basically the stats table is just, uh, you, in the first column you have all the characters, including the Mies, actually both male and female Mies. Then you have their uh, base address that the game refers to them as. And then you just have a ton of numbers, a ton of columns of numbers, of course not labeled. So what we have to do is decipher what all of these mean. And some of them are obvious. Some of them are the exact stats that the game tells you for pitching, batting, fielding, and speed. But if you've watched this channel for a while, you know that these stats lie. They're purely for visual effects and they don't actually correspond to anything in the game. And the rest of the numbers, which are, you know, seemingly random, very confusing, those refer to the actual stats. And so it's mostly guesswork, but what we have been able to uncover is the actual fielding, um, some of the power stats and the actual speed stats. And you might be surprised, I was shocked to learn that the actual speed stats are not what the game tells you. The speed stats and the fielding and power stats, those usually go up to 100. In this case, the, the speed stats go up to 100, uh, but they don't simply round to the nearest 10th. For example, Toadsworth and Paragoomba. Toadsworth has a 78 fielding, uh, Paragoomba has a 65 fielding, but they both round to seven. In general, they're pretty accurate. Uh, for speed, the number that the game tells you will give you know a, a pretty good estimate for their speed. Fielding, of course, doesn't really correspond to bobble rate, so we're not sure what that is. But yes, we have identified some of these stats, uh, but there's, there's so many, so many columns that I, I don't know. I don't know what to do with a lot of these. Like one of them, Goomba has 100, Bowser has 99, and nobody else has greater than 80. So <laughs> we're not exactly sure what to do, but uh, we have already made some really cool discoveries, including the greatest one, which is the existence of unused characters in the game. In the character column, you have all the normal characters as well as the Mies, both male and female. And then you have six slots between them that we, we they don't correspond to any character in the game. So what's going on here? Well, below the Yoshis, you have two extra characters that are just like the Yoshis. You also have another character whose stats are all the same as the Toads. Another with Pianta, another with Critter, and another with Koopa. So essentially what this means is we have two unused Yoshi alternates, one unused Toad alternates, an unused Pianta alt, unused Critter alt, and an unused Koopa alt, which is very interesting. I'm sorry if you're expecting unused Rosalina to be found here, that's that's not the case, but we do have uh, five different characters who were supposed to be given more alts, and for some reason Yoshi was supposed to be given two more alts, even though he already has uh, six, I think, I think it's six, six colors already. So why does he need more colors? Well, they probably just didn't decide what colors they wanted. And at the last second, you know, they, they chose which ones. So now the obvious question is, what colors are these alternates? And unfortunately, the stats table gives um, me chemistry for all the all the other characters. So like you can see that Red Critter has chemistry with uh, Red Me, and it's kind of cool. It's nothing that, you know, we didn't know already, but it's kind of cool to see all the tables. However, these alternates don't have chemistry with any Me. So this the game here does not tell us which colors they could be. And there's no other stats for color that I could find in here, which is, you know, kind of weird, but maybe, maybe we'll uncover it. But at the moment, uh, there is really no good way to tell what colors these are. However, there's one stat that loosely corresponds to orange characters. Uh, Baby Daisy and Daisy both, basically everyone has a one, they have twos. Uh, however, other characters have twos as well, but there's only like four with twos and the 
Daisy and Baby Daisy have it, and one of the unused Yoshis has it. So, I'm thinking that one of the unused colors for Yoshi was orange. And if I had to guess, I think the other one would be purple, because those were both in Mario Sunshine. Uh, so those are my two guesses for the Yoshi, maybe even Black Yoshi, because he's in some other games as well. But I'd say uh, pink, uh, excuse me, orange and purple Yoshis were almost in this game. And it makes me sad because I do wish Orange Yoshi was in this game. For Toad, I'm not exactly sure what other color they'd be going with. Uh, maybe an orange Toad, but all the Toad colors in here are the ones that have been used in other main series Mario games. So I'm not exactly sure what, be, what would be going on with Toad. I think Pianta could have been orange as well because there are orange Piantas in Mario Sunshine. As for Critter and Koopa, I have no idea. I don't know what other Koopa you want other than a red and green. Those are the main ones. Maybe blue because you get, you know, there's been blue Koopas, especially in Mario World and also the blue shell in New Super Mario Bros. DS. So that's my best guess with those. So yeah, there is a lot going on here and a lot of potential here. I made a stats video a while ago for Mario Sluggers and I showed off all the stats that I knew of and there's some hidden stats in Mario Superstar Baseball uh, that we know exist from data extraction there. And I'd be curious to see if that exists in Mario Sluggers as well. And other stats I've um, thought about maybe existing like weight, you know, a weight stat or some other um, slap hit or star swing stuff that varies between characters, but we don't really have an exact numerical value for it. And, you know, you don't really need numbers to play sluggers at a high level. It's it's pretty much just for fun, uh, but it's still extremely interesting to look at all this stuff. But most interesting is probably the fact that you can actually change these stats and have them represented in-game. Little Coax made a little guide to creating gecko codes uh, using alternate stats, and uh, Coax loaded the unused characters in the game, and they have Pink Yoshi's character icon on the menus, but then in the game they have Peach's model, so it doesn't help us at all. Uh, but it's pretty interesting to see what happens there, and of course you can change any stat you want and see what effect it has. And we are, you know, I'm gonna put this all, this is all gonna be put in an announcement, so I'd love for you guys to try this out. It's pretty easy, I haven't tried it yet, but I will let you, let you know the results after I do. And I'd like to, you know, see everyone playing a game with 99 speed. <laughs> I think that'd be fun. And just changing the stats and seeing what effects they have in game to discover new things about the stat table. The stats table will be released. It's in the Mars Sluggers resource folder already and we'll put it in an announcement when this video comes out. So go check it out. And if you have any ideas for what the stats may represent by just looking at the numbers, then let us know. And we will check up on that and also go crazy with uh, making your own gecko codes and stuff like that if you can. I think that's be, that'd be really fun.